Hey everyone, this is Eric with Verse Design, and I am bringing you yet again another series of Let's Build a House. And yeah, so I debated whether to really do another Let's Build series right now, uh, just because I've done two and they were both relatively time consuming and I kind of want to get into something else. Like I was thinking about doing an apartment complex or something, but I got the request to build on this new lot that is in Aluna Island. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think it came with the third update or I guess the second update to version point three something with a three i don't know <laughs> but i think yeah i think this is the new lot and there used to be a lighthouse here and now there's not and there's this 64 by 64 lot so yeah i thought it would be really interesting to build a house on and so we did <laughs> and yeah so this is going to be another let's build but i don't think i'm going to be updating it as frequently as i had been for my previous let's build seasons i think this one will be stretched out a little bit longer probably more episodes too it's going to be fairly extensive so um yeah i think i'm going to do a couple episodes of it and intermittently throughout the series just i'll be doing like individual speed builds and i want to start my let's build an apartment complex or a condo or <laughs> just like something else other than a house so i was thinking about an apartment complex but yeah we will see when the time comes but so anyway this build <laughs> we are building on this uh lighthouse lot it's i can't remember the lot number exactly for aluna island but yeah, it is the new lot, and I don't know, I like it. It has a really interesting terrain and could easily be adjusted to be, I don't want to say twice this big, but close. Um, a lot of the usable space is underwater right now, and you'll see me popping some of it up as I need it um, just to actually use. <laughs> and uh, yeah, the house turns out fairly small so far and has a detached master suite. Uh, kind of island style, I guess, or what I think island style would be. <laughs> so, um, yeah, we run with that style, the whole detached house style. And it's pretty cool so far, but I think we're going to come back in and attach the two pieces at some point. <laughs> yeah, so here we are just trying to get a nice foundation down for this part. At first, I was originally going to extend it over the other part of the house so it's like the master suite is detached but it's like floating above the other part of the house but i don't know the terrain just wasn't appropriate at the time i had i would need to go back and do a lot more editing so yeah <laughs> i knew kind of what i wanted for this house i just didn't know how to achieve it and maintain the integrity of the terrain because there's a lot going on that i like there's a flat area out front and then there's this elevated area out back and it allowed me to like wrap the house around the terrain. So even though it's on the water, you see bits of like sand and grass that are like coming through. I don't know. You'll see later on in the episode what I mean. Um, yeah, but I wanted to use uh, the, <laughs> the foundation. That's what it's called. <laughs> I wanted to use the foundation tool to either make it look like it's built out of the water or it's floating above the water. And we do that for part of the build um, in the front. I kind of make it look like it's floating above these rocks in the water and stuff. So the front turns out pretty cool so far. I'm kind of iffy still on the rest of the build um, just because I knew the style I wanted. I wanted a really like island style potentially even like separated buildings. So I knew kind of what style I wanted, but I didn't know specifically what to do. So <laughs> a lot of this is like playing around with foundations and freezes and just trying to get things. Because if you've ever tried to float things in The Sims 3 to make them appear like they're floating, it's not always an easy task if you don't know what you're doing. So yeah, this is primarily that. And, yeah, I don't build like this very frequently, so I'm trying to connect the two pieces of stilted foundation. They're both technically on the first floor, but I put a freeze on top of the taller one trying to connect them, and I still couldn't. So we're going to have to come back in and do some adjustments on the front of the house and make it uh, playable, I guess. It doesn't 
have to be playable, but I would really like to just because I get a lot of people on my channel, on my YouTube, on my Twitter who want their houses that they download to be playable because they play the game and I don't necessarily. So, I mean, a build that I watch on YouTube, I don't really care whether it's playable or not, but I'm not going to download it <laughs> necessarily. So yeah, I am trying to make it more playable, but yeah, you tell me if it is. Some of the houses that I've uploaded, I haven't play tested extensively. So yeah, just let me know if you're finding glitches in the builds that you download, and I'll try a little bit better to <laughs> play test it more effectively, I guess. And yeah, we we're just trying to get this overreach like over the water, so the building looks like it's like jetting out over the water and floating but still looks realistic. Like I could easily make it. So I build the entire house on a foundation, delete the foundation and the house literally floats over the water, but I want to do it in such a way that it has a foundation and has part of the house grounded on the water or on the land rather and floats over the water. The rest of it does. I don't know. It doesn't have to be realistic. It's just the Sims, but I don't know. <laughs> I try sometimes. And yeah, so here we are putting in the front of the house, trying to get the awning, I guess you could call it. It's not technically an awning, but the part over the top, <laughs> the roof, I guess, <laughs> trying to get the roof in, in the proper way. And we come in and add a freeze just so I can get it the exact height of the piece below it, the like symmetrical part of the house. It's on the floor. Um, yeah, so we try that and... It gives it this really, really long, flat vibe, which I like. I just don't know exactly how I'm supposed to <laughs> incorporate that into my design because it wasn't necessarily how I was doing this. When I drew the foundation and like placed it in the game, It was a lot of it was supposed to be outdoor area in the front but that turned into the actual house itself. So <laughs> yeah, we end up playing around for a while with foundations and trying to do cool new things, <laughs> especially in the back area. I wanted the master suite to really be like a private part of the house, like completely detached, has its own bathroom, has its own. I would like to make it its own livable area, like its own kitchen its own bathroom and laundry and everything you would need but it's not turning out that big yet i suppose i could add a like a basement to it so it's like built into the hill i don't know <laughs> just leave below in the comments i guess if you have any recommendations or any requests that you'd like to see for the master area i've seen people build houses like this totally where they detach the house and have like different parts, I guess, different buildings in one housing unit. So yeah, if you have any like requests or you've seen anything cool that you'd like to see me try and incorporate, just leave it below in the comments and we'll try. And that's something I wanted to touch on in this video too. I've been getting phenomenal feedback. Um, I've been getting a lot more people visiting my channel and stuff. And I wanted to thank you for taking the time to watch my videos. I've been putting a lot of time <laughs> into them and a lot of effort trying to make my videos better, do better commentary, do better video editing, just overall better. So thank you for everyone that is <laughs> that has stopped at my channel, watched a video or two. And yeah, thank you. Anyway, back to the house. <laughs> so here we are doing the roof still and just kind of defining the shape of the house. And it turns out with it comes out with like a clamshell sort of design, like the wooden part wraps around the windows. Like, I don't know. It looks kind of cool. It's a shape that's not particularly unique, but I think we're going to come back in and switch up um, how the house is divided in the middle because well, off center, but kind of in the middle, because there's this big open area that I'd like to do something with. It's way too big to just be an entryway. So yeah, we're going to come back in and do some editing there. And yeah, this square where it's leveled is where the master suite's going to be. And I wanted to make it hang over that piece of uh, stilted foundation just so it had its own like private patio out back and the whole like master suite hung over it. I don't know. I thought it would be a cool vibe. I've been playing with like floating design in this game, making things appear to be floating. And I don't know. I've been digging it. So <laughs> we're going to run with it. 
And yeah, this gave me a little trouble at first, but I really like how the design comes out. And looking at it again, it looks a lot bigger than I remember it. So we may make it make it its own private, like living quarters. So yeah. And if you have any ideas on how to incorporate the design and to incorporate some of the like nuances into this back area, yeah, leave that below in the comments too, because there is a definite disconnect between the two buildings and I don't love it. I want them to appear disconnected, like they're physically disconnected, but I wanted the design to be similar. It looks like the same house. So yeah, just let me know in the comments below what you'd like to see. Obviously this shape is not the best and we come in and do a lot of editing and even at the end of the video, it's still not where I need it to be. There's still a lot of work to do on the exterior, but yeah, that's for episode two. <laughs> And yeah, here we change it to a more muted tone, not so orange. I was thinking about running with the orange wood, but this just suits the vibe better. It looks more relaxed and more like an island house, I guess. <laughs> I haven't really seen an island house that's orange. So yeah, this suits the vibe a little bit more, I think. And you see what I mean? The two parts of the house kind of like are like separate from each other, but have this giant land area between them and I'm gonna come in and try and turn it into like a huge garden I do a little bit I add some terrain in this episode or not terrain some plants and trees and stuff in this episode but it still needs a lot more it needs fine-tuning I just threw down some trees and <laughs> bushes and stuff to see what it looked like so yeah, I end up coloring that white for now and doing the rest in this wood color just so they're different and so I can <laughs> differentiate between them a little bit. And I kick this design around for a little while, like this area in the front where you can park your boat. But I think connecting that, yeah, that's kind of the idea that I wanted right there. That's what I wanted was building this area inside the house where you park your boat. Um, and I like that. I do. I think the design needs a little bit more fine tuning. I think if I end up using this design idea, I'm going to need to come back in and really <laughs> change it because <laughs> that doesn't look very good. But yeah, <laughs> we don't actually have a designated like boat parking area at the end of this episode yet. And if you have that idea too, leave that in the comments. <laughs> if you have an idea for where I should put that, I know there's a specific name for that little post. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. So if you have an idea where I should put that, leave that in the comments below too. And here we come in with the sand texture and just switch some of this up. I really don't like the idea of that being built on rock, but it would be the more realistic option. So we're probably going to come back in and add some rock and grass texture. But for now, we just cover it in sand to get the vibe, the vibe that we want. And yeah, if anyone has any suggestions for this as well, <laughs> I know this is kind of a, a weird thing that's been happening in my game. It's probably happened to a lot of people, but where the terrain is uneven, like there's that big hill. And even though I'm using my terrain paint, <laughs> it like won't paint what I'm touching. I don't know. <laughs> it's probably a common issue, but it's been happening to me and it's kind of annoying. And yeah, this is the, I think we start with the rock work soon here. We kind of decide what style we want in the front. I was thinking maybe extending the entire house and making it like substantially larger, but I don't know. I think I like this idea more, the idea of putting like rocks and stuff underneath it, but on that part of terrain. So it looks like it's rested upon a bed of rocks. Um, yeah, <laughs> we can back in and do that in a little bit. You'll see. But yeah, I wanted this part to be the detached area, so it had to have, like, access, and that was, like, my biggest problem with it. So I almost demolished this a couple times, you saw in the video, but I keep coming back to this idea thinking, you know what, I could, pro I could make this work. I could make it a really cool design feature for this house, and that's what we do. So we come back in and snake down some uh <laughs> some stairs from the front porch and yeah just make it a more accessible feature for the house i could like i said i could easily make it just unreachable in the game and it could easily just be you know just a nothing addition to the house so when you download it you can't 
access it, you can't do anything. But I really want to make it accessible in-game for people that want it. So that's what we're doing here. We are adding this staircase, and I couldn't get them to not overlap the way I wanted, so it ends up being just one straight staircase from the top down, which is fine. It looks all right. And yeah, that about does it for the work that we do back here. We like do minor terrain adjustments, add some texture, and switch up um, some of the leveling on the terrain so water comes back in this back area, backyard area more. And yeah, I think it's going to be a really interesting design. Um, it has like an enclosed backyard, which is really interesting. If I could fit a pool back here, I would love to. And if you have suggestions for that, again, <laughs> you know, leave it in the comments below. Um, but yeah, I think adding a pool back here would just make it so high end. But I'm not sure how yet. So <laughs> yeah. And yeah, here, this is what we're talking about. We, in a second, like adjust the terrain so water can come back here from the ocean and it originally wasn't supposed to be that way it was supposed to be totally closed off from the water but in like editing and stuff somehow it got changed a little bit underneath the master suite and yeah so we edit it in the back and just go with it bring some water in and yeah this is the general shape of the house that we have towards the end. I think there may be some more additions. I might make the house bigger. I'm definitely going to change the shape of it. I'm not in love with the shape at all. Um, so yeah, small changes will come in and happen, of course, on the exterior, but this is the main, like, shape. Um, yeah, and I know this may not be the best thing to have the house be so small and be on a 64 by 64 lot. So like I said, I'm considering expanding the house considerably and making it much larger. But again, leave in the comments, let me know what you think. And this is the rock work I was talking about. It becomes kind of a feature for the house. And I might do this around the house more, or I might not. I don't know. <laughs> I can't tell if I like it just in the front or if I like it all around the house. But for now, this is where we stay. We end up putting in these into the, or the, <laughs> the Island Paradise rocks, rather, in on the front. And that rounds off what we do on the exterior for this episode. So thank you guys for tuning in to episode one of this Let's Build a House series. And if you're looking forward to more episodes, that's great because I'm making them. <laughs> and I'll have them up in about 24 hours from when this one goes live. All right. Thanks, guys.